today's lesson is learning how to use percents to calculate sales tax tips and commission. These are going to be concepts that you're going to use all the time in your life. I'm sure you've already had some experience with sales tax. I challenge you the next time that you go to this grocery store, either Walmart, Dillon's, Aldi's, wherever you go shopping, take a peek at the bottom of the receipt and see if you can find the area that says sales tax. What you'll notice is, let's say you have $100 in groceries that are going down that conveyor belt. You're not just going to pay a flat $100 for your groceries. You're going to pay $107 or $108, something along those lines, depending on what your sales tax rate is for your city. For example, uh, the sales tax rate for Goddard just went up to 8.15%. So if you had $100 worth of groceries, you'd actually pay $108.15 for that. Uh, order for that um, shopping trip. In Wichita, it's 7.15%. So you'd actually save a dollar by shopping in Wichita at this time. Um, so sales tax is a percent added to goods or services purchased. That sales tax often goes towards um, schools, uh, road improvements, all sorts of different uh, things that those sales taxes go towards. Now, commission is kind of like a sales tax, except that um, commission is based on sales. So if you go to, um, oh goodness, a clothing store, any clothing store, a lot of times those people work on commission, which means that, hey, if they sell you $100 worth of product, they may earn $10. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to be paying an extra $10. It just means that that $10 is already built into the price of the product. Um, so, for example, my husband went and bought boots at Shepler's. Well, the boots were, let's say, $50.00. Well, the salesman that was selling us those boots made you know, $5 on that sale. It's not that we paid $55 for the boots. We still paid $50, but he was paid from that sale. Okay, so commission is a percent earned by a salesperson for sales made. And a lot of cars, car dealerships are work, um, a lot of car dealerships the employees work on commission. So the more they sell, the more they make. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice finding the sales tax. So Phil bought a new calculator. It cost $12.40. The tax rate is 7.25%. We need to calculate the tax and the total cost for the calculator. So this is a two-step process. First, we need to figure out what the tax is. And the way to think about this is to think of a question, what, oops, what is 7 and 25 hundredths percent of $12.40? So what is seven and twenty-five hundredths percent of twelve dollars and forty cents? You can go ahead and do your is over of, and if you set it that way, you will find that your proportion would be x over twelve forty equals seven and twenty-five hundredths over one hundred. You would cross multiply, so meaning take $12.40 times $7.25 and then divide it by whatever's across from my x, which would be 100. So again, if we set up those equations, it would be 100 times x equals $12.40 times $7.25. There's no math I can do on the left-hand side of the equation, so I'm going to go ahead and do 100 times x equals $12.40 times $7.25 would be 
89.90. Then we're going to divide both sides, but it, whatever is in front of my x, so in this case I have 100 times x, so I'm going to undo that 100 by dividing by 100 on both sides. So I have x equals... eight hundred and ninety nine thousands but if we're talking about money we need to make it make sense for dollars and cents and that means we're going to need to round to the nearest hundredth so in this case the sales tax is ninety cents you can do the proportion there's nothing wrong with doing the proportion but you'll notice how uh, there are a bunch of steps that go into this if we think back to our equation on um, the percent equation it can be a little bit shorter on, on solving the problem. If we go ahead and translate this sentence, what is 725% of $12.40 to use an equation, we know that what represents our variable x is represents equals 7 and 25 hundredths percent written as a decimal would be 725 ten thousandths of means multiplication, and then we're just going to drop in our cost, our money, $12.40. So if I multiply these two things, I would actually get the same answer I got with my proportion, which would be 899 thousandths rounded to the nearest penny, would mean that I pay sales tax of 90 cents. A little bit quicker if you can get comfortable using the percent equation. Okay, so we know that he pays $90 in cents to sales tax. So how much is he actually going to pay for that calculator? There's only one last little step you need to do, and that is to take the price of the calculator, the $12.40, and add the amount that you paid in tax to it, 90 cents. We have a final price of $13.30. Calculating a tip is very similar to calculating sales tax and then your total price. So if you are going, say Macy and Brianna are going to eat dinner at a restaurant, their meal costs $19.50 and they left a 15% tip. So that's pretty standard, just leave you know anywhere between 10-20%. You need to calculate the tip, so how much you're going to leave them so that those servers can um, help earn a little bit more money. And what, so what's the tip and what's the total cost of their meal? To solve this, you need to take the information that we have in the problem and go ahead and create a sentence, a little question. And see, we know already that they leave a 15% tip on their bill of 1950. The question I'm going to ask myself is, what is 15% of $19.50? Again, you can set this one up solving uh, the percent proportion. So your is over of equals percent over 100. But I'm going to go ahead and solve it using the equation. So I know that what is my variable, x, is means equals 15% written as a decimal would be 15 hundredths of means multiply. And then I have $19.50. All I have to do is type in my calculator, 15 hundredths times $19.50, and I find that my tip that I should leave is $2, well, it's actually to the thousands if I get your exact answer. So you need to round this number to the nearest penny. That five bumps that two up to a three. So I'm going to leave a $2.93 tip. So that means that that waiter is going to make $2.93 on top of what he already makes for his hourly wage. Okay, so since I left a $2.93 tip, I need to figure out what my total bill is. So one last step, take my $19.50, add my tip of $2.93, and I have a new total of $22.43. Okay, let's go ahead and do commission. Commission again is what the salesman earns out of your out of your sale. 
And here we have a furniture salesman earns 7% commission for his sales. How much commission would he earn if he sold a couch for $800? We need to think about it this way. What is 7% of $800? Well, again, I'm going to solve this using the equation. What is my variable x is means equals 7% written as a decimal, be 7 hundredths, of means multiply, and then I'm going to plug in my 800. All I need to do is add, multiply those two numbers together in my calculator, and I find that he makes an additional $56.00 or he makes $56 of that $800. So um, when I want to find his total earnings, I don't have enough information to do that on this question because I don't know how much he earns an hour or if he's on salary. So to find the total earnings, you would just add the $56 to whatever his hourly wage is or his salary. So that does it for sales tax tips and commission both of all three of those are found very much the same way you take your percent times uh, whatever your cost is and then you find the sales tax the tips or the commission for sales tax and tip you need to add whatever the sales tax and tip number you found from doing the multiplication you add it in uh, to the original price to find the total so those were two steps that does it.